So one of the gifts of all this COVID stuff is that you can get to tasks that you wanted to be able to do forever. Um, and I am going to finally be able to put a backsplash um, on this coffee bar because we didn't put one up originally, um, not realizing that we would definitely need it, especially because we have a textured wall and because our volunteers are amazing, but sometimes they spill coffee and it goes down the back. So I'm gonna try a new product I've never tried before. Smart towels, and today we're gonna find out how smart I am. And I'm afraid it's not gonna be good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sand and get this texture off, and then I'll be back to try this. First step is always clearing out, right? Here it is, the scene of the crime. One of the things I love about working for a community like this is that um, we have amazing community partnerships. So uh, this coffee bar is stocked by Old Town Roasting. They're amazing, amazing. amazing. And um, they've been supporting us and just so great. And so um, we they've been giving us coffee, which is incredible. And so you, See the church's logo on there so if someone visits for the first time we give them one of these coffee um, things to take home so it promotes old town roasting and it also um, is a great way to remember us the uh, video as i did was to show how i organize my toolbox and these are the moments that is really important so i've got all my different um these are the moments that is really important i've got all my different sanding sizes and they're in order so i know what i have and what i don't have so that when i'm working on something like crazy texturing. I know that I've got the right tool. So I'm always too conservative with the sandpaper that I choose. Um, but this wall is textured. Um, I don't know when it was textured. It is concrete. So why we have to do this, by the way, is there's the, they installed this so lovely, Ikea, we love you. However, there's a gap because the wall itself is not flat. So I'm having to use 60 grit. The lower the number, the higher the grit. It's kind of like piercings. Back in the day when we did gauges, no one else. Okay. By the way, today I want to tell you, Lululemon pants with pockets are the best for doing this kind of work. They don't sponsor me yet, but if they did, that would be awesome. So the next step is going to be just sealing up the area, kind of getting it to look good. Because, and we've done here, but we're gonna make all this match and the edges. So, for an area so small, this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so, while I was spackling the corner, I got this, the spackle on my shirt, which is why we can't have nice things and um, it'll come out until it dries because this spackle has primer in it and we don't want that. So I gotta clean this. Thank gosh I have my search and rescue vest so I can um, you know, protect my other shirt that I have on. Guys, when will I learn? So one of the big tasks of this smart tile is going to be laying it out, um, making sure that it like matches. Um, when I was a kid and I used to do like lettering I would always like start at one end and then not have enough room at the end so I've learned my lesson I'm gonna lay it out on the floor first and then cut and then adhere all right so um, I already started sticking on after measuring all this and look how good this looks look at this follow me follow me look at this I love it it looks so good um and so uh 
Gotta wait for that speckling to dry. So I will do my usual Home Depot run to get supplies that we didn't have, which is the usual for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how easy this is because it's insane. Like you literally just peel this off. Make sure it's lined up, stick it on. That's it. And the cool thing is, is if it's lining up, then that means that it is actually correctly like it's going to be level because not much in this building is level check that out look at that it looks so good oh that's so fun it's perfect Some design choices for sure had to be made, um, including uh, how high to take the tile. Um, and the obvious answer for this project was to use that as like a measure. Um, but now I'm kind of wondering if I wanna take this back to its wood color and have it match the this and this. But, that is a decision to make another day.